Hi, I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. So you decide you want a robe hook or something hung on the door, only to go to the door to tap on it to find out you have a, a hollow core door. Uh, you know if you just send a little bit of wood screw in there into that eighth of an inch press board, it's not going to hold very well over time. They make a product specifically for this that's made to hold up to 40 pounds per anchor into this door. I'll show you what it is. Let's get to work. And the product I'm talking about is this Easy Anchor. It's a metal anchor and it's specifically designed for the right depth for a hollow core door, which is typically inch and three eighths. What makes this anchor work is A, it's self-drilling. See these two little prongs here that are coming out? They'll actually cut through your press door or thin wood door. And also, but the most important part is up here. See how these real wide threads get real tight up here at the head? Uh, which is just perfect for cinching it down onto a small surface. What I have here is one eighth inch press board. Uh, it's press board or hard board. It's not really known to be real great for accepting screws, but this is about as close as a typical thickness is to a uh, hardwood door as there can be. Now what you do is with a cord, corded screw gun or a cordless screw gun, go ahead and get your hole started. Now at this point is where it gets a little shaky. You can over drill this. You only want to drill it down until it's fairly close to going in. Now see all this material that's being pressed out? At this point, I take this back out. I grab my knife and very carefully taking my knife, I shave away all the excess material that starts to be pulled out of this hole. Because when my anchor goes down, I want it to be as tight as this door to possible. I don't want my hook or accessory or whatever it is I'm putting on this door sticking out away from the door on the finish. Since these can be over tightened with a corded or power drill I like to take my screwdriver at this point and I like to run it in with my screwdriver just gently letting it work its way in there. Now toward the end here it's going to get a little bit tighter as those threads start tightening up on the finished surface. I'm real careful to stop at the point where I'm just flush with the finished finish surface. This represents the inside of your door where you can't see. Again, using my hand screwdriver, I'm going to use the screw that they provided because it's already made to the proper length so that it doesn't blow through the other side of the door. I'm going to go ahead and run it in with my hand screwdriver. And at one point, what's going to happen is this is going to bottom out on that anchor and it will actually push the end of the anchor free and open that point up so that it'll have enough room. I can feel it hitting it now. If you watch, see how it's pushing that, that tip of that anchor off? It'll blow it right off. Sometimes it falls free, sometimes it stays on. And then you just gently tighten this down until you got your bath accessory or robe hook or whatever it is you're gonna hang on this door hung. Now this should hang 40 pounds on it. I gotta admit, I'm not a real big guy on hanging things on doors. The added weight and stuff could change the way the door operates and stuff. But there are some situations where this can't be avoided. You know, you got a small tight space, you have to do it. I can't tell you how many jobs I've went to where they have a robe hook hanging on the back side of the door with just a couple of screws in it, where it's, it's hanging loose, where the, the fine threads on those little screws just will not hold into this thin surface. Uh, I generally go ahead and replace them with these and haven't had a problem with them since. I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. Hope you appreciated this tip and we'll see you on the next one.